<laughs> Hello my friends, it's Nina and welcome to another study with me. I need to make this brighter. I'm gonna make it a little brighter. Give me a sec. So for this video, I'm going to be studying Japanese for the first time ever. <laughs> but I'm going to do this with you at the same time, so... Hopefully it'll be a fun time. But for this video, we're going to study Japanese for the first time. I'm a complete beginner. The only experience I have is with the Japanese media I consume, whether that's anime, Japanese TV or movies, Japanese music. I also read, well, that doesn't count. I was gonna say manga, but everything's in English. But other than that, I don't have any experience with it. I've never studied Japanese. I'm not taking a class, anything. I'm just trying to teach myself. So let's have some fun. I think first things first, I'm going to talk about the materials that I have to study Japanese as a beginner. And I will say I can read hiragana like 70% of it. So not completely from scratch. I have been studying Japanese on Duolingo for the last like week or two. So I can read a little bit of hiragana. I'm not perfect at it yet. And then I stopped right before we got to katakana. So we're going to continue on that today probably. But anywho, let's get into the resources resources. So as you can see here, I bought this whole textbook workbook set, this bundle. This is when you know I am dedicating myself to this. I have not opened it yet, so we can do a little unboxing here. So this was one of the first few books that came up when I searched Japanese textbooks, workbooks. I'm gonna crack these open. I'll just kind of take a peek right now. <laughs> so many words. <sighs> Ooh. Anyway, so this is the first book. This is elementary Japanese and then it has a level two and I'm assuming this is way further in the future And then I have a bunch of these sort of guides cards. I got these on Amazon as well I could probably link them below as well. I have Japanese verbs vocabulary and grammar And I thought that having these sort of quick guides would just be a good supplement be a good addition to my resources And then the textbook bundle actually came with more so that's a nice surprise. So it shows you how to say a couple phrases. Wow. Oh, 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 oh neat. So we've got a lot of expressions and phrases. Nice. And then this came with the textbook bundle as well. It's the hiragana and katakana chart. So that will be nice. I can actually even put this on my wall. That'd be nice. So these are my physical materials. I don't think I really need anything else for now. And then on my phone, I have Duolingo. I have been using Duolingo for the last two weeks for Japanese, but I've also used it for Korean. I tried French on it, but I feel like this is a good thing to add onto your studies. It's just an app on your phone since you spend a lot of time on your phone anyway. So I'm obviously currently in intro to Japanese. I'm on unit three and I just got to the part where I'm going to study katakana. That's exciting. I finished all of this and I just think it's cute with all these buttons and prizes and the owl. I would recommend it as well. And then I also do have Papago on my phone. I have Google Translate, but I think Papago is nice. I use it to translate stuff in Korean and I also use it to translate stuff in Japanese. So there it is, English to Japanese, Japanese to English. I think it's pretty accurate, more natural, I think. So I guess on my phone, I have Duolingo and Papago. Also wanted to talk about one more app that I've been trying out lately that I think is good for beginners. It's called Robokana. So it's a very simple app. You have Hiragana, Katakana, and eventually Kanji. I think I completed the Hiragana, but with this app, you get to practice writing. They're divided into all these sections and they start out as gray. So if they're green or yellow, that means you've practiced through them. The yellow ones indicate ones that you struggle with and you just get to practice until you do well. So for instance, we can go here. You can listen to the audio. Eh. And for this one, I actually do remember it. There we go. A cute little robot dances for you. E. Oh, I kind of forgot this one. Oh, was actually the one that I was struggling with. I can recognize it if I read it, but if I write it for some reason, I can't picture it in my head right now. So if you want to play it, it'll show you how to write it. And for instance, if you mess up, all you have to do is undo. And it kind of just teaches you how to correctly do it. Yes! And I like that it teaches you the correct way to write the character with all the strokes. So just like that. Horizontal, like that. Nice. Oh, and once you do well, it clears and turns green. And then after that, you can move on to Katakana. I still have to go through this. So let's see how far I've made it with the progress. Here we are. So here is one that I didn't start yet. And it's just fun. I even began working on kanji and I can actually recognize a few now. So that's fun. Start training. Otoko. 
and you can replay it. Dun, dun. Okay, next step writing, and then you just follow along. Dun, 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 dun. So this is man, male, otoko no ko, otoko no ko, dun dun dun, ooh, 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 uh-huh, oi, nice. One, two, three. Fun, this is just a fun app. Definitely recommend this one. On to the other materials that I have. Got a bunch of pens because we love to color code. These are zebra mild liners. I've had these for such a long time. These are some of my favorite colors. I have this pen. This is my favorite pen. It's the Pilot G2 in 05. And then I have a whiteout. I got this from Daiso. I love to write in pen, but I make a lot of mistakes. So it's good to have whiteout on the side. And then I have a big notebook. I started using this for Korean. As you can see, I have a bunch of notes. There are three units in this notebook. So I think I might use the second or third one for Japanese. So here is a brand new section. I can use all of this for Japanese. Other supplemental tools that I use to learn Japanese. To begin with, I watch a lot of anime. I've seen probably over 50 series by now. That's kind of what gave me more exposure to Japanese, at least more regular exposure. I would say that I hear Japanese almost every day. I think with any language, it's useful to consume the media that uses the language you're learning. When I learned Spanish, we watched telenovelas and listen to Spanish music. We also watched movies with a Spanish dub. I watch all of my anime with the original Japanese voices. Occasionally I will listen to the English dub if I'm drawing and I can't really focus on the anime, but for the most part I will listen to it in Japanese, have my English subs. And then more recently I've been watching Japanese TV shows, movies, kind of watching real life Japanese actors act and speak. And then I've also been listening to Japanese music. I love J-pop, J-rock. You naturally hear a lot if you're watching anime as well. So I actually do have a playlist full of my favorite Japanese music. On my Spotify it's called J-Tune, so if you want to listen to it. Got a lot of bops on there. So I've been listening to Japanese music as well, just kind of hearing it a lot more. But that is basically what I use to study Japanese. I think when you're starting out with studying Japanese, I would definitely recommend learning how to read Japanese first. It might be hard, you might not want to, but you should, you definitely should. I originally was trying to convince myself that I don't need to read Japanese, I can just read all the romanization, I'm not gonna take it that seriously. I can just survive off of listening and just repeating because I was intimidated by studying all these characters. But then I realized studying Japanese is so much easier if you properly learn how to read Japanese. So I definitely recommend studying hiragana, katakana, and then kanji will just probably come as you go. But I think before starting anything, reading is definitely the first thing you should do. It's actually not as difficult as you would think. Mm, I definitely have to freshen up on my hiragana because I am forgetting <laughs> Oh, forgetting some of this already. So this is the grammar card. Shows you the writing system. We've got hiragana, more of that. So I definitely want to conquer this first before we get into anything else. I think this is definitely very useful. Got daily expressions here. And then we've got more here as well. I might hang this one up on my wall. I think now I'm going to actually try to study and show you my process because I am a note taker. I have not taken any notes for Japanese at all yet because all I've studied is on Duolingo. Back in the day, I actually made... Ah, here it is. I made this little guide. It was a hiragana guide. And you can see all the mistakes I made, all the whiteouts. Back then, I copied it and I didn't actually memorize it. And then I had it hung on my wall. I might make a new one without errors. And I might make it in pink just for practice. So I am going to change the setup and we're going to actually study. You might listen to some music for the vibes. Unfortunately, you can't listen to what I'm listening to a copyright. I'm gonna get my airpods. I'm gonna listen to my JTunes playlist just to get into the vibes. Here is the playlist as you can see. This is my JTunes playlist. It got a lot of bops here. A lot. So I'm going to listen to this. Go check it out on my Spotify. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's go. I haven't taken notes in a long time. <laughs> oh. 
Writing is hard. <laughs> I have finished writing. I wrote down hiragana, got to practice it, but I still haven't tackled katakana yet. I'm like intimidated too, but I know I have to if I want to be able to read as I study. But I will show you what I wrote down. Basically, I kind of copied down the chart that I have, but I wrote it down myself so I can practice it and so it kind of sticks in my brain better. Here is the first page in my notebook for Japanese. All the characters. I wrote down the pronunciation with red so I can see it better. So that I added myself because looking at it straight up sometimes I get confused so it's better just to have the actual finished pronunciation right there. And then I also think that if I have it right next to it I can kind of train my brain to memorize it. Maybe make some sort of mnemonic or something to make it easier to memorize. I could imagine that's like a K with all those sharp strokes and then the roundness of the S, things like that. The more I practice the easier it'll be. Sometimes I messed up as as well. Hello, this is a tip from future Nina. Definitely write with pencil. Oh my god, it's so much easier to write with pencil. <laughs> In high school, I was literally taught to write with pen for notes, and so ever since then, I just always wrote with notes, and I always just used whiteout if I messed up. But dang, if I want to practice Japanese, I need the ability to erase, so I've been using pencil after filming that part of the video. It's so much better. And as long as you get a good dark pencil, just easier. And if I mess up, I can erase, and I can still use colored pens when I want. So here are some notes that I've been taking. I learned how to say how much is this? I just wrote it all down. Fun time. So these are the colored pens that I've been using. Definitely nice to have colored pens in your stash. I found these in Japantown in San Francisco. These are the Zebra Sarasa Clip pens and I just use these to break things down but I write all the notes in pencil first. If I have any mistakes I can easily erase it and then after if I want to annotate or just go over my notes, break things down, separate things, that's that's when I'll go in with colored pens. I definitely will not be writing with pen for my notes for quite a while just until I get the hang of writing the characters, but I think it's getting better. I actually took these notes after I used Robokana because I did not know how to properly write the characters. I love it. I can actually write them a little more comfortably now, now that I know how to properly write the characters. And then here's the pencil that I use, the Zebra Graphics pencil. And this is HB.5 lead. This is what I used for my notes and I love it. I also have a darker one. This is also a 0.5 pencil, but this is 2B, so it's a little darker much darker. Man, I love stationery. Anyway, big tip, write with pencil, please. I think I'm going to take a break and watch some anime because that is also part of learning and I need a break. <laughs> By the way, this morning I had Panera bread, but I didn't get to eat my chips. So I'm going to eat these chips and I'm also going to watch an episode of anime. I also realized I always have the most American pronunciation when I say anime, <laughs> but then I say manga, like almost the correct pronunciation. Don't mind me. Anime. Anime. Ooh, I could tell you a bunch of anime I've been watching recently. I've been watching Buddy Daddies, which is a lot of fun. I've also been watching, ooh, The Ice Guy and His Cool Female Colleague. So cute, so good, so wholesome, so fun. I've also been watching Tomo Chan is a Girl. Saw that on TikTok. Yona of the Dawn, I heard from some friends' recommendations. I'm still watching Blue Lock, I'm a bit behind on that. And ooh, recently I've been re watching Komi Can't Communicate because I recommended to my mom. My mom loves it, so I've been watching it with her. This is my fourth time watching it. I love it. But I think I'm going to watch Buddy Daddies because I'm behind on that. Very cute. It's about two assassins who take on the new responsibility of taking care of a little girl, raising this girl, and also taking care of their business, their assassin business. So it's fun. I was halfway through watching one episode and I have to watch episode three. <gasps> These are kettle! Wow. Oh yes, the crunch. It is so dark in here. I'm gonna turn on some lights. Is that better? By the way, I watch most of my anime on Crunchyroll or Netflix. Sometimes Hulu, but most of it on Crunchyroll or Netflix. Here's Buddy Daddies. I am almost done with episode two and I have episode three to go. <laughs> I am very much watching this for educational purposes. <laughs> I need to show you this. <laughs> Definitely recommend this. Hikari. 
I'm reading names from the credits. Someone's name was Hikari. Read that. I can't read everything else though. <laughs> now, usually when I watch anime, I try to watch it actively. I try to listen for words I know, kind of figure out what words match the English caption, things like that, you know the drill. Also, that kind of bothers me, BRB. So I think after I finish this anime, I'm going to go on Duolingo and just try to get through the unit. I don't know how far I'm going to go, but hopefully a good amount. All right, next I will be continuing Duolingo. I haven't been on here for a week. Let's get started. Let's see. Ooh, what's this? Practice characters used for loan words. So katakana is for loan words. Each katakana character was made from part of a kanji character. Most words borrowed from romance languages and onomatopoeias are transcribed in katakana. Ooh, interesting. Interesante. Yeah, see, this is gonna be a struggle if I don't do this with Duolingo, so I will try. There's some hiragana tips, if you can see here. Japanese has three writing systems, hiragana, katakana, kanji. In hiragana, each character represents a syllable. For example, oh god, what was, what was that? That was ushi. Ushi, what's with the- For example, ushi is pronounced ushi. It means cow. Did not know that. Can you figure out what sushi means? <laughs> Sushi. Unit three, let's start. Show off what you learned and earn a special reward. Cool. How do you say excuse me? Sumimasen. Oh, sumimasen. The middle one. Sumimasen. Sumimasen. What I like is that they pronounce it out loud too. The other one is, this is yoru. This one is ohayo, yes. Arigato gozaimasu. Mas. Yes. How do you say bye? Sayonara. Is this something else? Hmm? Jane. Jane. Oh, it's a different one. Jane. Domo. Doi dashimashite. Mm. Domo. Domo. Doi dashimashite. Yes. Oh, I'm on fire. Tap the matching pairs. So we have approached katakana, and I can't read most of these. <laughs> this one. Yes. And say, that's you. Dozo, Dozo, Tashimashite. You're welcome. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. You as well. Yay, no mistakes. A <laughs> one day streak. Nice. I'll do a seven day streak, even though that's not gonna happen. This one might be a while. <gasps> I actually don't know how to say the months in Japanese, so maybe I can try right now. Oh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. <gasps> Uh, ni? Is that ni? <gasps> ni. Chi. Yes, ni chi. Yo. What was that? Yo. 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 Yobi? Ni chi yobi. Oh my god. Ni chi yobi? Sunday is apparently ni chi yobi. If I read that right, probably not. Ni chi yobi. Ni chi yobi. It's in different characters, so yobi. Ni chi yobi. Getsu ka sui? Sui. Ah! Ka and hua. Ka yobi, hua yobir, sui yobi. In Korean, it's sui yobir. And then next one is moku. <gasps> moku yobir, moku yobi, moku yobi. Kin yobi, kin yobi, kum yobi, kin yobi. Do yobi, do yobi. Do yobi, kin yobi, moku yobi, sui yobi, ka yobi, getsu yobi, nichi yobi. It took me a long time because there's no romanization. <laughs> Okay, and then the months. Ichi, ni, san. Nice. Okay, thank goodness. Ichigatsu. Ichigatsu. I recognize that symbol. Ichigatsu. Okay, Ichigatsu. So everything's gatsu or yobi. I still don't know how to count. <laughs> I still don't know how to count in Japanese. Ichi, ni, san. <laughs> I only know Ichi, ni, san. <laughs> Ichi, ni, san, shi, yon, yo, ko, roku, shichi, nana, hachi, kyu, ju, 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 ichi, ju, ni, ju, san, ju, shi, ju, shi, ju, ko, no, ju, what was it? Oh, I was right. Ju, go. Ju, roku. Ju, shichi. Ju, hachi. Yonju, go. Ju, roku. Ju, nana, ju. Nah, that's why you need the other ones. Got it. 
<laughs> I wish I had a bigger brain. This is fun. This is a fun time. <sighs> okay, well, I just put a lot in my brain. I'm gonna do one more Duolingo and then call it a day because I have a lot of work to do before I even get into the textbooks. Let's do one more lesson. Start. Kumori. 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 Na. Nana. Ichi. 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 Sa. Sa. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ro. Ro. Hi. Hi. White was... oh shoot, what was it? Ao is blue. Ao. Aka was red. Aka. Yes! Hai. Shiro. Shiro, white. Talk the matching pairs. <laughs> well, that was easy. I'll do one more. That was too easy. Chi. Teri. Yaki. Te. Te. Ni. Alcohol. Osake? Take. Oh, I forgot what K was. Sake. That's K. No. Kitanai. Kitanai. Dirty. Ya. Senaka. 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 Back. Tori, tori, tori. Tori. Inu. Inu. Fuyu. Fuyu. Winter. Like. Ski. Ski. Jump to next level. <gasps> I moved to <laughs> We're moving so much. <laughs> Give me the katakana, please. Manga. Manga. Ginko. 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 Bank. Amai. Aka. Konnichiwa. Manga. Manga. Nomu. Nomu. Ginko, Ginko. Ginko. Ga. Ga. Gu, that's gu. Gu. Gi. Gi. Go. Go. Ge. Ge. Try for 20. Wind. Uh, wind was what? Kaze. Kaze. Oh. Kaze. Kaze. G. G. Zu, zu, zu. Zo. Zo. Za. Za. Ze. Ze. Emoji, emoji, eh. Cheese. Cheese. Jump to next level? Of course I would. I think that's it for today. <laughs> anyway, Duolingo, very useful, very fun. Definitely recommend. I was able to hone down hiragana from that and I think if I keep going, I will get the hang of katakana. I already know a good amount of characters. We can only keep continuing. Oh, that's so fun. But anywho, I think that is going to be it for this video. I feel like I've learned a good amount of stuff. I am definitely still a beginner. <laughs> I am so excited. Hopefully by the time I watch this video in the future, I am a little further ahead in my learning Japanese journey. I love learning languages. I think it's fun and I think it's very valuable if people can learn more languages and I definitely want to get better at it. I I want to make it one of my biggest priorities in 2023. So come along for the journey. We can learn new languages together, but this is where I sign off. So we are going to bring it in for our hug as always. Come on closer. Let's embrace for a hug. I will see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.